Hello everyone, this is Jaya Khatri this side and today we have Upenda with us. So Upenda was once a student of mine. Uh, he'll introduce himself to you all. Yeah, hello all. Uh, I'm Upendra. Uh, I'm currently studying my master's in Meshatronic and Robotic at uh, Technical University of Munich. Uh, this course is a German taught course. I learned my German uh, German language from A2 till uh, C1 at Langoic. Uh, and uh, thereafter, I even cleared my test staff. So yeah. happy to be here. Even Thank I'm you. also happy to have you here. And I do remember your scores and test staff. They were really very good. Now, and now when you are studying at TU Munich, it really makes me feel very proud. So, Pinda, I have a question to you. Like, like you are right now studying at TU Munich. Just like you, there are so many uh, aspirants here in India. Those who want to apply in German universities. And whenever they think about German universities, they think about TU9. So could you please just throw some light over there also? That means there are also other universities apart from TU9. And what is the difference between a technical university and a park book show? Yeah, sure, definitely. Uh, I have prepared a slide on the educational setup in Germany. So there are two types of, uh, basically, there are two types of universities, namely the technical universities and the universities of applied sciences. So in the technical universities, uh, which is also called as Hochschule, is more research oriented, which has four semester course. And most of them offer 120 credits for that. Uh, and whereas in UAS, which is also called as Fach Hochschule, uh, is more industry or application oriented and they usually consist of three semester with 90 credits so once you do your masters you usually do not have you cannot uh, directly start your phd if you have done your masters in Fakhochschule. so you will have to do a few more courses and then take up uh, your phd at a technical university so below these are the on the left hand side you see the these top uh, TU9 universities, uh, which I mentioned, they are one of the top universities in Germany, such as uh, Aachen, Berlin, Braunschweig, uh, KIT, Munich, and Stuttgart. So, uh, to in order to sum up, one can say that technical universities are more theoretical oriented, and if someone uh, is more kind of a person who likes practical knowledge, then Fachhochschule is the thing for them. And one question which is being asked like many a times is if a candidate has completed his you know uh, studies from a fakhok shula would he be getting a good job in the market uh, because they have this notion that uh, the a candidate who has completed his or her studies from a technical university is much more demanded or has a better career chances what is your look into it? So to answer your question, uh, it doesn't really matter whether one has studied from UAS or from the technical universities. All that matters is uh, this right set of skills you have for that specific job. So once you have that, and it all depends on how you write your covering letter or the motivation letter and uh, how you do in your interview. So that should be fine. Yeah, yeah. even I agree to that. So uh, thank you so much, Upenda, for uh, joining me in this video. I hope the viewers have got the idea what is basically difference between the technical university and a park Hochschule. And it really doesn't matter from where do you complete your studies. All matter at the end is how much skills have you gained. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Upenda, thank you so much. Thank you. So that was Upendra and stay tuned because next week we are going to discuss how to select a course if you are seeking an admission in a German university. And if you want to enroll in a German language course, then call here.